सो हाई एवरी वन वेलकम बैक आई होप यू आर डूइंग रियली फाइन एंड टूडे विल बी क्लियरिंग ऑल योर डाउट्स रिगार्डिंग सी एस सी आई टी ई सी एंड विल बी डिस्कसिंग सब टिप्स रिगार्डिंग दैट एंड विल बी डिस्कसिंग वॉट ऑल थिंग्स यू शुड डू टू लैंड ऑफ कैंपस इंटर्नशिप विल ऑल्सो बी डिस्कसिंग ऑन कैंपस ऑफ कैंपस स्कोप फॉर कोडिंग रिलेटेड जॉब्स एंड फॉर दैट आई हैव अ वेरी स्पेशल पर्सन हेयर ऑन दिस चैनल and he will be giving some really important tips so stay tuned and watch this video till the very end i hope this video will clear your doubts regarding the csc it related fields that you have been asking from for a very long time so it was really a pleasure that you have come to share some tips on this channel uh, tell to the audience please that uh, about yourself first of all thank you very much for having me here at your channel I am Sandeep Kumar, uh, currently in final year at uh, BIT Sindhi. So, Sandeep, uh, it was really a pleasure that you have come to share some tips. Now, regarding the uh, recent uh, your recent achievements that you landed an internship at some organization. So, throw some light on that. Ki how did you land and about that? Ki stipend and all. Okay, so I am doing coding since uh, first year of my college. I started a development uh, from the very beginning, and then uh, I was looking for opportunities, uh, some off off campus opportunities. So I came across a LinkedIn post that uh, they were hiring for uh, front end developers and uh, some DevOps kind of stuffs. So then I applied and I got selected because I have some good projects in my resume that got me selected, and then I had done the internship. The stipend amount was. Ten thousand approximately, and then uh, in the next internship I got it uh, by LinkedIn only, and the internship amount was one lakh per month. So Sandeep, uh, we'll be discussing in the later part of the video how to go about that. Keep what all things you should keep in mind so that you land an off-campus internship, and we'll be throwing the lights on the on-campus placement also. So uh, about the internship like if someone is from core branches and he develops a passion for coding or if he is from csc itc so basically what they should focus from the first year itself uh, to get a good internship and to get a good placement first of all having a passion for coding in core branches is totally okay so the this this question has uh, two separate answers uh, for the csit and uh, for the core branches If you are uh, someone from CSIT branch, then you should focus on data structures and core subjects like DBMS, OOPs, networking, and OS. Uh, these will be the criteria for filtering out you guys. And uh, like, uh, if you are uh, someone uh, who are who is very good at DSA and uh, competitive programming, then you are good to go. And if you are from from core branches, then you have to focus. On development also because uh, getting a job in MNC, being a from a core branch, is a little tough. So you have to target some startups uh, which focuses on uh, development kind of stuffs also. So as you have told that you got the op, you are from a core branch mechanical and you got the opportunity from LinkedIn. Yes. So now coming to one of the very common questions that they have, especially first second year, is like. Uh, what are the opportunities for core branches student and for non core branches student in on campus and off campus so first of all let us discuss the scope in the on campus for coding if if someone is from a core branches what are the on campus in their opportunities so if you are someone from csit uh, you get ample amount of opportunities like uh, yamaha tcs cognizant hitachi uh, these companies visit here and if you are uh, from mechanical or uh, from any core branch then you have uh, limited opportunities in coding like uh, you will only have opportunities for tcs and cognizant tcs hires for three roles ninja digital and prime so for uh, non core branches opportunities are there and for core branches the companies have been told now coming to the competitive coding and all and the platforms hacker rank and all those things so what about that competitive coding when to start that coding competitive round so if you are uh, currently the first year i would say start as early as possible so uh, first of all you should uh, keep your preparation limited to dsa and if you are good at dsa then go for competitive programming 
uh, use lead code and uh, uh, hacker rank like platforms for practicing those questions and you can you can follow Stiver. Uh, there is a seat in on Stiver's channel then which you can follow so first of all uh, now the thing is ki CSC ITC syllabus is there they have been given syllabus from the second year so studying the syllabus solely focusing on the syllabus will that be sufficient so uh, for uh, landing a job in any company um, syllabus uh, doesn't matter at all yeah but four subjects like DBMS, OOPS, networking is there on the interview process they ask some questions related to this uh, but they uh, more focus on DSA kind of stuffs. okay and for uh, you have been throwing the light more and more on DSA and yeah. one more is yeah, it's, it's very important uh, DSA is must have a skill for any student to get into a coding field so can first year start the DSA on YouTube is there any channel like yeah uh, you can follow Striver from YouTube learn DSA and follow Striver now coming to the thing key when when to get the paid internship and when to do the projects like can a student who is going to second year in third semester and he's from a core branches so um, how can he apply from LinkedIn uh, uh, to get paid internship so uh, if you are in the first year don't brush out uh, first of all have some skills brush up your skills have uh, good at uh, data structures then uh, if you are from core branch, go for development also and uh, after that you can apply for internships from second year only and uh, you would land a good uh, internship if you are good at uh, DSA and have some projects on your resume uh, and now coming to the projects, so where where from, from where they should do the projects? there are a lot of tutorials available on the YouTube you can search for projects like e-commerce projects on YouTube and then you will see a bunch of videos you can watch any and uh, do coding uh, by watching on the video and then you can make your uh, own new project based on the things you learn from the project I would not say to copy any project from YouTube or GitHub uh, just go for your own now everyone knows that CGPA matters in the core branches now coming to the CSC IT related job profile HD roles and as you have discussed in the beginning so in that uh, does CGPA matter a lot and if it matters then what should be the minimum CGPA that a student should maintain here at on campus yes CGPA matters uh, but talking about the coding field uh, here at Vati Sindri you will get only two companies as of now uh, TCS and Cognitive and both have uh, the criteria 6 CGPA or 6.5 CGPA above so if you are someone focusing on coding then you should have 6.5 CGPA and above and you should must not have any backlogs backlogs and backlogs i have repeated it every time when i make a video backlogs shouldn't be there and active should not occur active backlog focus on that now resume building sandeep how to what should be the things that you should focus on resume building because one of the first thing that they shortlist is based on the resume yeah. so uh, resume is a very important thing finding a job so when you are uh, preparing your resume make sure that your resume is ATS friendly ATS is applicant tracking system you can search on YouTube what is this and uh, I would suggest uh, use a platform overleaf for making your resume that makes your resume ATS friendly and uh, add only relevant topics and uh, make your resume slight shorter uh, it should fit only one page and uh, add the most important thing at the top and go down slightly like uh, if you have some internship uh, put it uh, on the top and then skills then uh, experience on other things education skills also uh, I would suggest one more thing please uh, tailor resume according to the uh, job description like if in a job description there is uh, they are demanding C++ then write C++ on your resume it will help you uh, these are some of the very valuable tips that you won't find anywhere and Sandeep has come to share the tips it was really a pleasure now one of the thing is ki there are languages in uh, CSC IT field Java, C++, Python so if anyone learns C++ and someone learns Python or Java so 
Are there any preferences regarding that this the company will look for a Python guy or a C++ guy? So the answer to this question will vary on the uh, backgrounds. So if you are someone uh, who have some background in any particular language, like uh, someone at their 12th have C++ as their uh, subject, so they can go for C++ or they can go for Java, Python as well. So choosing a language uh, doesn't matter. You can go for C++, Java, Python uh, or anything you want. But I would suggest C++ and Java is something that you should go for. So in this video, we have discussed everything from CGPA, resume making, core jobs, core uh, 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 on-campus core opportunities, non-core opportunities, everything regarding that LinkedIn, how to get jobs from LinkedIn, what are the things you should keep in mind if you, how to prepare, uh, everything has been discussed, but if something specific you want to ask, you can write it down in the comment section and I'll look into it and we'll see. Now, uh, Sandeep, anything extra that you would like to uh, tell to the audience? So, there are uh, a lot of boys, uh, juniors that ask me that uh, how you search for an internship or job. So, I would say, um, have a good uh, LinkedIn profile and uh, have, um, be good in data structures and algorithm. And, uh, and then you can search on LinkedIn. Like uh, you can use uh, hashtag jobs or hashtag frontend developer jobs. And then you can search by filtering out the post, people, or anything. Also, you can connect with the hiring managers. Just write hiring managers and uh, search on LinkedIn by clicking on the people tab. Then you will connect, you will see a lot of people uh, who are hiring managers at different companies. Then you can connect with them and uh, uh, message them that uh, you are currently looking for opportunities with your resume and your lead code profiles or coding pro other coding profiles it will help a lot so i hope you have written down everything that has been discussed in the video we have been demanding it from a very long time csc it related advices on campus opportunities off campus opportunities so this was it from the guy who has cracked internship being a mechanical engineer and the stipend was 1 lakh per month for 5 months and he has cracked 2 paid internships so that was the ad ad advice coming from, a, uh, from Sandeep so I hope you have liked the content of this video share it to a coding enthusiast share it to everyone who has been asking this doubt and thank you guys if you watched till the very end Enjoy your BTEC life. BTEC is very fun. Have fun. Uh, stay safe. Take care. Bye bye. Have a nice day.